it also required that masses of people from every corner of the state were clear, were mobilized, were taking action uh, on, on all of this. So there were a number of moments that many folks across the country saw uh, as Michigan really became uh, the kind of spotlight around attempts to subvert our election in 2020. Uh, you know, Jocelyn had mentioned the kind of Wayne County Board of Canvassers Zoom heard around the world. Uh, there was also moments where we had we were confronting state legislators uh, at the airport as they were flying. Right. They were summoned by by Donald Trump uh, as you know we we were kind of pushing for the final domino to fall with the state board of canvassers certifying the election. Right. Things that you didn't see that are important lessons about what it took. It it, it took disciplined and clear structure every single day at eight a.m from August until January, that we're meticulously planning, that we're deciding how we would make decisions before we had high, high stakes decisions to be made. We got very clear about our principles. We wrote them down so that anyone new coming in would know what to expect. We knew that we had to build a broad united front against a very dangerous threat to our communities. That meant egos had to be checked at the door. There's a moment for all hands and no elbows. We, had, we distributed that work via committees. So we had a core team that really drove the strategy, but we also had constituency committee that was doing kind of constant education with faith groups and nonprofit groups and labor and elected officials and a, a wide set of people. We had a political committee that was working with elected officials to stay on message. We had a research committee that was working with folks uh, to actually undergird what are the things, what do we expect to happen? And most importantly, we had what we called action councils. Um, and those were in 18 communities across the state led by local volunteer leaders who themselves were often meeting daily. These were leaders that had legitimacy in their communities. They were faith leaders, community leaders, folks who a lot of folks looked to that were very, very, very clear. We had a role to play together and it was making sure that the results of the election were not subverted by this right-wing effort that we saw playing out. And it was, actually incredibly important for us because it was the first time that I, ex I had experienced us out preparing the right. 